The problem with CAFOs is the incredible amount of waste they generate, and it's also in a very small area. Most of these animal factories, you can't see them from the road. So in order to monitor what they're doing, and in a lot of cases, actually find violations that are taking place at the time, we've got to get in these small airplanes and fly over North Carolina. My name is Larry Baldwin. I am the North Carolina CAFO coordinator. CAFO stands for Concentrated Animal Feeding Operation, and I work for Waterkeeper Alliance, which is an international organization. Newbern headed northbound right now, currently at 2,000 feet. It appears that there's some, some algae of some sort in that water. So the nutrient levels in that water are way too high. And what do you have right there is a hog capo. On the other side of the creek is a poultry capo, probably chickens. We've been able to prove numerous times that that contamination is getting into waters off-site. The investigation into the Magnolia area really came about by uh, a number of different people, river keepers, myself, having flown over the area and realizing, or even just from the Google Earth, it's like there's a lot of concentration here. This is an area we need to, to do some focus on. There are, are, are homes, in some places communities, within a mile, in some cases even less than that. So there are people who are having to deal with this every day. When they put that stuff down, the um, um, cat manure, uh, chicken manure, it stinks so bad. I have to go in the house and turn the air conditioner on full blast because I can't stand the smell. It takes my breath away. It's unfair to the people who live around it. They got to smell this stuff. They should put it in an area further from houses. That's the most important thing. Area to the left, that's what they call lagoon. It's actually just a cesspool. It's a, a open storage of hog feces and urine, and it's open all the time. But then when that when that lagoon fills up, then they've got to get rid of that waste. You can't see a lot of the things that are happening just by traveling on the roads. Probably 90, 95 percent of the when we do see a violation, we've seen it from the air. Right now, currently at 2,000 feet. We have an investigation we're about to start. In this particular case, there was a hose spotted that just looked out of place. And it looked out of place because it appeared to be running in a direction that it really shouldn't be going and kind of connecting two different parts of the facility that shouldn't be connected. So that's the first red flag. Now, the, the photos that were taken, um, they'll be shared with the um, Division of Water Resources, and it, it'll go out very soon. So one of the, the biggest frustrations we have is how is all this data even being used? We've got samples that show that this water coming from this facility is contaminated, and it's running into your community. Maybe it's outside your, your backyard. And there are many instances where people are that close that these sprayers that are applying the waste to the ground are that close. You know, and we're talking within 100 feet, 100 yards. So as far as how many, how many violations we actually, the river keepers actually turn in a year, it's in the hundreds. So that information does get passed on to the state. Sample results can get passed on to the state. The problem is they're, they won't specifically accept our data. So we send it in as a complaint and then it's up to the state to decide what they want to do. We're out in eastern North Carolina um, where we're really close by to Chicago Creek. These facilities have spray fields adjacent to their barns where waste is sprayed. Um, and we're concerned about that waste running off. These facilities are supposed to be zero discharge, so there should be nothing leaving those spray fields, there should be nothing leaving those facilities, but we know that's not the case based on sampling that we do next to them. We see elevated levels of nutrients, elevated levels of E. coli and fecal coliform in these streams. This 
land, the water, the environment cannot handle that much concentration. 2830 barns right here in this one area. Super Tower, right now, Nathan, the crew, we're editing your airspace, hope you switch it over to Jerry Point. What are we leaving our children, our grandchildren, our great-grandchildren? They're the ones who are gonna to have to come in and clean up this mess that we're making right now. Not a mess that was made years ago, it's the mess we're making right now.